Why hello there, good day. So in today's tutorial what we will be doing is basically getting Mr. Benjamin's MP lab to run with a different software that can simulate the pick in action. So for this tutorial we need two programs. We'll be using the same MP lab that Mr. Benjamin has and let me double click and open this. Oops, it's already running. Yes, so we'll be using the MP lab that Mr. Benjamin already had us use, the exact same program, nothing different. If you already installed it, that's fine. And we'll be using another program called Simu IDE. The first thing I want to do is actually let's install Simu IDE ahead of time. So I'm going to go online and I'm going to type in SIMU. By the way, this pro the link for downloading this file is going to be in the description of the YouTube video. So this link will be in the description of the YouTube video. So I'm going to click I'm one version 0.3.11 because version 3.12 has some issues. So when I click on the link, I scroll down now, I'm on a Patreon website, I scroll down and I'm going to download one of these files. I'm looking for the one that says Win32 and I'm going to click on that. I have a download manager. And it's saying, where do you like to download the file? I say, sure, I'm going to download that file. When I finish downloading the file, I'm going to just check it out. Show it to my downloads folder, please. There it is. So what we're going to do, first of all, the first thing I want you to do, actually, is let's create a folder on your desktop to save this new program that I'm making you install that does simulations. So I'm going to hit, I'm um, going to my desktop, new folder, and I'm going to hit it simulator. So this is our simulating file. So I'm going to drag and drop the file we downloaded into there. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract it here. Yes to all. So what we did is that we extracted the zip file. Let's let me give me a second to create to change the view to large icons. All right, so I'm going to delete the RAR file, the downloaded file, now that we've extracted it already. And I shall enter into this folder. So when we enter into Simu IDE, we will have two files, bin and share. It's bin we're going into. When you go into bin, you'll see a bunch of different files. One of them is called, till at the bottom, S-I-M-U-L-I-D-E, Simu IDE. Now let me show you by going to large icons. Simu IDE. This is the one. And let's let's just see what it looks like. So I'm gonna double click it and open it, and that's the program. We'll get back to the program in a second, but let's now create a second folder on our desktop. So I'm gonna create a new folder on the desktop and I'm call it um uh Mr. Benjamin Online Class or Be Mr. Benjamin and uh what 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 do you wanna call it? I'll call it because it's E L E two two one eight, I'll call it E L E Two two one eight online. Name the folder if you want to name it, name the folder. I'll call mine Mr. Benjamin Mr. Benjamin Online E L E two two one eight. And because we're doing it online, I'm gonna put online after. Good. Name it whatever you want to name the fo the folder. The reason why we're making this folder is because we're going to save our MP lab, the things that we've worked on, in here. So what we're going to do now is the MP lab program you have. I'm going to hit file and create a new file. All right. So we created a new file and forgive me for having, having the text so poorly done. Give me a second to go into my properties and Go to the text and change the font size. So I like font size 18. Apply font size 18. And then I want line numbering. So in the description, there will be another file as well. In that file is going to have the code for the first lesson we did with Mr. Benjamin. 
and that code I'm going to paste in here in a second. So let me just find it. Here we go. So we're going to copy and paste. So this is the code for the first lesson. It starts right where in the comments I see this is the first project to, to turn on an LED. And then this is my last line. This is also going to be in the description so you can just copy and paste it. But what I want to do now is save it. And now it's saying, hey, where do you want to save it? So remember, I just made a folder on my desktop called ELE 22218 online. So I'm going to go into that folder and I'm going to save this file. What do we name this file? This is lesson one. So I shall name it lesson one dot ASM or lesson one should be good enough. I don't know dot ASM. Let's see. Yes, it works. So you can see that the text highlight changed and that means that this is now in assembly. Now I want to build this project. So let me minimize the window and I want to do a quick build. So go to project, quick build. Build succeeded. Yes. Now we remember we just made a folder on the desktop to save this file. That folder I call ELE2218 online. Let's check that folder out. When I open up that folder, what I see is, okay, I badly spelled the word lesson one, but you see the lesson one file and you see the lesson one dot hex file. This hex file is going to be important and I'm going to show you why. But first, let's quickly take a look at the code. If we go into the code, what we do basically is that we move a literal into the working directory and the literal removing is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 or eight six zeros and two ones with the two ones being the first the first and second ports and then we move this literal into port b now what's basically happening here is that we're putting this into port b you remember port b has eight pins and therefore eight bits and what we're saying is that we want the first two to be on and the remaining six to be off what I'm actually going to do is take out a 1 and put a 0 here. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you something. I'm going to save and then say project quick build. Build succeeded. Okay. So in summary, what, you're, what we're basically seeing here I do not want the break, please go away. Anywho, what we're seeing here is that the first pin will be on and the remaining seven pins will be off. Now, let's launch up our new software, Simio IDE. So I go into my simulation folder, Simio IDE, and then I say, yes. So then I say, go into the bin folder, open up Simio IDE. Now, when we first open up Simio IDE, it's a kind of weird program. Let me just drag this white section away a little. So we have the option to a new circuit, open circuit, or save circuit. This third option is to save a circuit. I want to save the circuit. And I'm going to save the circuit, go on my desktop, and I want to save it in the same online folder. Remember, we just made ELE2218 online. And name it as Lesson 1 Simulation. Yes, please. So now that I've saved my circuit, let's start building something. So if I scroll down, you'll see a lot of different things. Under micro, I want to go into pick. I want to go to 16F. And now we're going to look for our pick. Pick 16F. 877 perfect there it is so there it is our pick 16 f 877 now remember in the code we have we're put we're making port b an output port here we can see tris b move literal all zeros output and then move from the working into a file directory tris b so this makes port B all outputs. Then we write to port B a bunch of zeros and one one. 
what we're basically saying in this line of code is to make port B, the first pin be turned on, so it'll blink an LED, turn on an LED, and the remaining pins will have zero volts. So this one pin is gonna have five volts on it. Now if we look here, we can see right around here, we have pin zero, pin one, pin two, pin three, pin four, pin five, pin six, pin seven. Zero, there are eight different pins here. This is the first pin and this pin is supposed to come on. To show that, let's build a circuit. With this specific simulator, you don't have to set up the power supply or the, or the oscillator to power the pick. It does that automatically for you. So we just need to focus on setting up everything else. So I'm going to scroll up and look for an LED. Meters, sources, switches. Here we go, output, LED. I'm going to grab a couple of LEDs. I'm going to grab eight in total as a matter of fact. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So this first one goes to port zero. This LED goes to port one. This LED goes to port 2, this LED goes to port 3, this LED goes to port 4, this LED goes to port 5, this LED goes to port 6, this LED goes to port 7. Now I will add a resistor, so I'm going to grab resistor here, right click it, and rotate clockwise. Finally, I will look for a ground. So where, where it's a passive, that's where you find resistor. If you go to the second section sources, you're going to find a ground. I'm going to wire this to this. And then I'm going to wire this to this. And I'm going to wire the rest of LEDs. Wire the rest of LEDs to the grounding resistor. There we go. The final thing to do now is to, this is the pick, but it doesn't know where the software is. So remember, we quick build this, right? We go to project quick build. When it does the quick build, it saves in the same folder that you saved the file. And in this case, we saved it in, we saved it in our ELE 2018 online folder. You see that hex file? That's what have just been updated. Now we're going to pull from that. So I'm going to right click here, load firmware, go to my desktop, go to ELE 2018 2218 online, and there it is, lesson one hex. And I'm going to open it. I'm now going to save. The third option is to save my circuit just to make sure in case something crashes. And I'm going to hit the red button to play. And you see the, that one LED alone is on. So we just went through an entire tutorial where you took the code from M MP Lab and you managed to turn on an actual LED. Now, let's do one change. So I'm going to stop the simulation. So I'm going to stop the simulation, go back to MP Lab, and I'm going to make, instead of just being um, this, I'm going to put something else. I'm going to put one zero one zero one zero one zero and you don't have to this is just to show you that it's working and then I'm going to hit project quick build I'm going to have to load the firmware again and I'm going to hit play And what you see here is the way the pins work is that the first, the, the most rightmost digit in this binary, the rightmost digit is pin zero. So what you're seeing here is a zero, then a one, then a zero, then a one, then a zero, then a one, then a zero, then a one. So a zero, which is off, then this LED is on, then off, on, off, on, off, on. And that concludes our basic introduction into the MP Lab Simu IDE. 
So you should be able to figure things out from here. So I'm going to stop the simulation. Thanks. <laughs>